Welcome to the next segment in the PISD GAF train. We are on our third stop, an introduction to Google Slides. To create a new Google Slides file or open an existing Slides file, you're going to use the New button, and then you're going to go down to Google Slides, or find a Google Slides presentation that's already in your drive, and click on it to open it. One of the first things you want to look at is you're choosing your theme. It's going to pop up, and you can choose what you want your backgrounds to look like. Then you also want to rename your presentation. Your file menu has similar features to the other Google apps. You can make a copy, move it to a different folder. You can actually import slides from somewhere else. You can see your revision history. You can download it as another file type. You can publish it to the web. You can email your collaborators, email the attachments or set up your page. In your view and insert menus is where you're going to look at the different features you want to add or the animations you want to change. In your view menu, you can go straight to present mode, which will make it full screen. You can add in animations. You can change the fit of the presentation, zoom in or out. You can check your show spelling suggestions. On your insert menus where you can insert your text boxes, your images, links, videos, word art, lines, shapes, tables, you can give your slides numbers, you can comment, or you can create new slides or import slides from somewhere else. When you insert an image, there are several ways that you can do it. You can upload it from your computer. You can take a snapshot or put the URL of a picture. You can go to your Google Drive and search for an image that is already in your Google Drive, or you can click the search button to search Google, and results from here are labeled for commercial reuse with modification, and then when you click on the image you want, it will insert directly into your slides. The slide menu is where you can create a new slide or duplicate a slide or delete. You can change your background. You can apply a different layout. You can change your theme or transition. You can also, it shows you that page down, page up, and home and end, is you can adjust which slide you're viewing. The format menu at the very top, this is for text formatting. So if you have a certain piece of text highlighted, you can change what it looks like. This is where your line spacing is as well. You can clear your formatting. The shape and image formatting will be at the bottom. And, you ha and for those to turn black and be usable, you have to have a shape selected or you have to have an image selected. Your tools menu has a spelling defined word count, but it also has a research feature to where you can research directly from the slide, and then you can insert. You can preview the website or the image. You can insert a link to it, or you can cite it directly on the page. Your Arrange table and help menus. Your Arrange is where you can order objects on the page, bring to front, send to back. You can also align things differently or rotate them. You can also group and ungroup. So let's say you have a blue circle and you have the letter A and you want it to move together. You would put the A on top where you'd want it and then you would select both and then you would go to your arrange menu and group them together. That way when you move them, they're moving together instead of apart and you don't have to keep placing them if you want to move them somewhere else on the page. And then you can insert tables and arrange them the way you want or get help from your help menu. The toolbar along the top has different options that, you can, that we've already talked about, but this is a quick toolbar. You can print, undo, redo, text, a text box, images, shapes, lines. 
you can change your background from here. You can change your background to an image. You can change the color or you can reset it. You can decide whether it's just going to apply to the slide you're on or if you're going to apply it to all. You can choose your layout for that slide from here. You can change your and total theme for the presentation or you can look for your transitions. You can decide how you're going to transition from one slide to another. Your present button is in the top right. You can present from the very beginning. You can present so that the speaker notes can be seen on the bottom or you can present in a new window. You also have the comments button to where if you're looking at someone else's presentation, you can add comments off to the side without altering the original document or someone else can comment on yours. You can also share the document with others. You can type in people's names within PISD and you can choose whether they can edit, comment, or view. Or you can get a shareable link, but make sure that you click advanced and you have your sharing settings if you want it off for everybody, that's fine, but you can decide if you want it for anyone at Prosper ISD with the link, or just, they don't have to have the link, they can just turn it on, or anyone outside of PISD with the link, or just public on the web where anyone can find it and see it. This has been a quick introduction to slides. If you have any questions, let me know.